Keep watching Charis TV. My name is Votlari Manike. I'm coming from Limpopo originally, but I stayed in the, in the Vibe. I know Charis a uh, long time way back while I was still very sick. But it's, truly speaking, it was a church that I was taken to while I was sick and then I left. So because I was looking for a spiritual father, uh, I decided to go on YouTube and then I decided to to come and visit and then after a visit when I went back I had uh, a vision um, the prophet was praying for me and he's prophesying and says I must stop being uh, angry I'm having too much anger so from there the Spirit of God was just leading me to charis until this day I decided to say I want to hear what God will tell me today uh, I want to hear I know I'm a person who does have visions God does talk to me a lot but I wanted to hear him talking to me through a, a man of God the the prophet mentioned my car that was bent re beyond recognition it's 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 a accurate 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 prophet actually um, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed that there are people out there that <laughs> sees in this way because I know that I'm a dreamer but I never thought physically in a physical realm someone who can be telling me exactly who I am so he, he spoke about my car I think I, I posted my car people that knows me they know that my car was bent beyond recognition due to yeah the challenges that we i had at home the challenges that we had in my family there was too much fight me and my mother were fighting a lot we were fighting we were hating each other we were greatest enemies and uh, it it was painful to me because it affected my spiritual life i stopped praying and i was no longer listening attentively even when i see visions i ignore the visions now because of the behavior that was happening and the the prophet mentioned that they were going to another church before so the church there is a spiritual attack that followed them from the church so that is the spirit that is causing all the havoc inside the family uh, what the prophet has mentioned and the church name that he has mentioned is very true. Um, the, 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 the pastor also mentions that the reason this attack is attacking me but not strongly attacking me is that I never being part of that church. I never followed them. I always being a separate person with my own belief that is why i have survived to to be attacked as the other members of the family he, he mentioned also that i'm a a woman that dreams dreams uh he even mentioned that hey this woman can see knows even what the things that are going to happen tomorrow it is true people that are on my whatsapp they know 
most of the time I can dream things that are happening in America while I've never been in America or anywhere, uh, anywhere around the world. That's how God has gifted me. People who are having my WhatsApp, they always see when I post my visions and they come to pass. Yes, that was the confirmation of the gift. I, I know the gift. I'm, I'm aware of it, but he just confirmed it as it is. Uh, I trust God so badly in a such a way as I believe in his prophets that whenever God revealed something to his prophet, it's finalized, it's done, it is well. But to all the people and the viewers out there, I want to tell you, especially the ones that I had charis, that you are under a very big grace. I wish God can open your eyes to see the grace that you are sitting on top of. I feel like I can wake up at charis and just be there in every second and every minute because I see there is a huge grace in here. For the people that are outside, for people who are not believers, I want to tell you that God does exist. The only thing that he wants from us, he is seeking our attention. Stop being busy with so many things that are useless of the things of the world and seek to know exactly who God is. He will find you. <laughs> I have seen God speaking with me, but I have been questioning him in daily basis that mm. do you speak really in physical realm? Because mm. you speak with me, but mm. in, in dreams, I want to hear you speak actually. So today you're surprised. The reason I came here, mm. I said, God, you've been talking to me, yes, I understand, mm. but I want you now to talk to me physical. I want to hear you. So what are you saying? Because everything uh, is like I a, I understand very well that God is watching me from a distance. And he knows you. And he knows you. Mm. So because you come here for the first time, I even mention issue of your dreams. That's a gift. That that that, 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 that one you given. you have blown my mind. <laughs> no. <laughs> what about the house? I need the house bed <laughs> and your mother. <laughs> Okay, you also mentioned your mother coming. Let me pray for you. Stop! 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 In the name of Jesus. Stop! Stop! In the name of Jesus. Stop! 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 In the name of Jesus. Stop! In the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on. Your spirit of sickness. Come on. Out. 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 She was very shocked this day. Shocked. I think everyone here is just shocked. I'm sure he was there when I was speaking to people. I started them outside. Come on! You little high blood. Come on! Gifts from God, they receive a tax like this. You know, this lady, she can dream. It's not a joke. She can dream a lot. I'm telling you, she can know everything that is going to happen tomorrow. Can I see that? Everything. speaks to me <coughs> but I never thought that I can hear 
receiving prophecies from God.